All of us at Smile are certainly devastated to hear about these young people taking their own lives. It really shows how much work we have to do as a community in order to support all young people, especially young people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning, and also to make sure that our schools and communities are safe spaces for all youth, including LGBT youth. What do you think about the recent suicides from young teens in the LGBT community? Honestly, it hurts. It, it, it hurts to know that there are kids out there being tormented to the point where they want to take their lives. And th this isn't one or two cases. It's, it's been multiple. I feel that like it's wrong. And not only is wrong, I think harassment should be illegal. And people should be put behind bars for doing stupid and crap, stuff like that. There was one kid who jumped off the bridge. Not sure what bridge it was, but once I heard that this person committed suicide because he was being bullied for being gay, I was like, wow. So what I heard about was these people who are younger than me that, being, are, that are committing suicide. What do you think can be done in schools to prevent LGBT youth from committing suicide? Um, just, just to spread the word. Let them know that it's okay. Um, you are who you are, and just don't be ashamed. I, I, I think, I think beyond the schools, parents need, need to let their kids know that it's okay to accept diversity in all aspects. What I'm doing about it, um, at my school, we doing a petition, like the LGBT of my school, we're doing a petition for our school to um, have an assembly and to wear purple, because purple on the LGBT flag is spirit, so we're trying to get that at our school. The most important message that I want to send to LGBT youth who are feeling bullied, who are feeling alone, is for them to know that they're not alone, that they're not the only ones out there. I'd encourage them to come to SMILE, to get connected to our programs, and also to, to realize that they don't have to stand up for it. They don't, have to, uh, they don't have to be victims of anything. They have the power to make change. They can get involved in gay-straight alliances. They can get involved in our advocacy program here at SMILE and can be a part of making their schools and communities safer for all LGBT students.